want to know how the Philippines capital was like during Spanish colonization for 333 years, you have to visit Intramuros in the heart of Manila. Its name, in Spanish, means within walls, as it is surrounded by walls as protection. It served as the Spaniards' political and military base in Asia. A testament to the story of the Philippines, Intramuros has survived many disasters, from wars to natural calamities and colonizers, from Spain to U.S. and Japan. I am in the walled city of Intramuros in Manila, which used to be the seat of power during the Spanish colonization. In 1945, this place was totally destroyed as American and Japanese forces fought for power over Manila. Only this church, the San Agustin Church, survived the shelling. If you want to learn more about the Philippines, walking through the cobblestones here in Intramuros will definitely or literally take you back in time, a time of conquest culture, and heroes. If the Romans had Rome, Filipinos have Intramuros. We have here in Intramuros a UNESCO World Heritage Site, the San Agustin Church, and we have, of course, other sites declared as national cultural treasures, important cultural properties, national shrines and landmarks. So it is actually one of the most uh, decorated heritage sites in the Philippines. In fact, this place is managed by its own Intramuros administration. They make sure that the landmark colonial style of architecture in the city is sustained, including the calesas or horse-drawn carriage, Spanish heritage structures, and Catholic churches. This is the only place in the Philippines where construction is regulated purely for cultural reasons. So here in Intramuros, if you want to build something for new constructions, repairs, rehabilitations of buildings, everything has to conform to the idea of Intramuros as a monument to the Hispanic era of Philippine history. The tourism in the area greatly suffered because of the pandemic. Thankfully, with the easing of restrictions, it is now slowly getting back on its feet. One of their most famous attractions is this dungeon in Fort Santiago. This was where at least 600 people died of torture and suffocation during World War II. From 10,000 tourists every weekend before COVID-19, now it's down to around 3,000. There has also been a significant change in strategy to cope with the changing times. It's no longer mass tourism. It's now about sustainability. So it's now creating better products because people will spend more for a better experience. So um, we're trying to shift now from um, more tourists to lesser tourists but paying a higher premium for a better experience. As the world opens up its borders again, many, including Intramuros officials, hope that tourism will bounce back. A good idea is for Southeast Asians to support or visit other Southeast Asian countries. So we in ASEAN, we have a lot of shared culture. You know, I really feel that because we're closer to each other, we can help um, tourism recover in our, um, uh, in our area, in the ASEAN. Camila Lamia, Sea Today, Manila.